from my studies as a historian and someone who has taught religious studies at university level, my ready reckoning is that 50% of all of the children of Jehovah's Witnesses leave the movement because they simply cannot take the constant pressures that go on within the community. Then they begin to ask questions. Well, why, when they get to be teenagers and young adults, why, why do we do this this way? Why, what are the reasons? For, well, don't ask me why. Uh, this is just the way it is. This is what someone in authority has said. And in the world in which we live, that's simply not good enough. And then, frequently, they will leave the religious movement and since they have no internalized value system, they either explode or implode uh, ethically and morally. I have known literally hundreds of people who are suffering and have suffered terribly. And I often have people come to me and say, well, what's the use of my trying to do this or that? What's the use of my having a religious belief? I am so sinful that God couldn't save me. I know that there were times that I was just horrified at the treatment of, uh, of children. And when you have a religion that uh, doesn't recognize that children are children, this is pretty sick. This often results in tremendous repression. Oh, you mustn't go to university. Or if you go to university, you've got to study a certain field because if you study another field, uh, you might be contaminated by evolution or you might be contaminated by uh, some other thought process. But in some of these judicial committees, uh, what will happen is, uh, well, how did, you, how did you get involved in the act? How far did he penetrate you? And questions such as this that had really nothing to do with much of anything. And can you imagine a young 15, 16 year old girl being asked this by 40 and 50 year old men. Uh, it's just totally destructive. It's almost like psychological rape. And it was that incredible insensitivity, that self-righteousness that sickened me so much. And eventually I just couldn't keep still. I had loved so many people in the community I saw people whom I had loved, whom I would give my life for, turn on me like vipers. I saw others who I didn't think would come forward and give me support do so. And I thank God for those persons, and I love them very much to this day. Over 80 of us left at one time in Lethbridge. Thousands upon thousands of people who have left Jehovah's Witnesses and other tight religious groups have had their physical health destroyed. Many of them have had their mental health destroyed. Many of them have had their spiritual health destroyed. Many of them simply find it impossible to overcome the experiences that they've had. Many of them go on for 20 years with the deepest hurt and the deepest bitterness. And it's, it's a horrible thing when a religion which claims to be of the God of love when it does this to people. It's, 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 it's so awful. And of course it's the Phariseeism of the 20th and 21st centuries.